Welcome to the Whiskey Vaults. I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. Oh, Got it, you okay? Yeah, I had a little indigestion there for a second. You want me to help you? No. I can do it? Nope. I can running, running start. I don't want you to hurt yourself. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, this is a gift from Tobin and Levi Richards, Magnificent Bastards. Tobin and the Tobin. 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 Okay. Jesus. Uh, Tobin and Levi Richards, you magnificent bastards. <laughs> so this is from a story called Loon Liquors, Northfield, Minnesota. Yeah. It's a moonshine. Yes. Slightly introduced to oak staves. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, that is not clear clear. There's a slight yellowing. Right. They just call it craft organic whiskey. Okay. But here's the thing that we have in common with these guys. Oh, this is wheat and barley, okay. by the way. Okay, okay. So, yeah. I don't know anything about this. But, they crowdfunded their distillery. Ah, oh, right on. Kickstarted it, to be exact. Very cool. So as soon as Minnesota changed their laws and allowed legal distilling to happen in Minnesota, yep. these guys when was that? Got together 2014. They well, their first product came out in 2014. Okay. 2012, they launched a Kickstarter. Yes. To build their distillery. So wait a minute, Minnesota up until that recently couldn't Woo. do distilling. Not not independent. Yeah, like Texas was Tito's broke the mold for t Texas. Yeah, when that they, like, look all craft distilling. Okay. In most states, it had to be fought for because since prohibition, it's been illegal. Which is why so many of the dominant players are in places like Kentucky right. and, right? Because that's where you could do it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, very new makey. Oh, yeah, very much so. It's, yep. of course, because it is, right? Yep. yep. New makey. And all they say and is there's almost like a citrus quality to that new make. Yeah, this is a good new make. Yeah. Right? Like, it's, I would be. It's not. Funky, it's not wet cardboard. There's no it's not off notes. Dog. Yeah, none of the tails got too far down in there. This is a well cut yep. new make. I would be excited to put this into a barrel and see what happened, mm -hmm. especially in Texas. Yeah. I wonder if we could get some of their new make and stick it in Texas and see what happens in Minnesota new make in Texas. I don't know. That'd be cool. So they got 100 people to donate about 12K. Yeah. And then they used that to get an angel investor. Yeah. And then they used that leverage to get an SBA loan. Yeah. And they built the distillery. Yeah. So it was I was like, like, those guys are well played. The monkey bars of funding there. You know, it reminds me of, remember that, that there used to be this game that we would play when I was in this youth group where you would get something and then they'd let you loose in town and you had to barter up mm -hmm. and you had a half a day and whatever you came, whoever came back with the most amazing thing, yeah. like you started with like a pin. Mm -hmm. Right, like a fount, like an ink pen. You can turn a paper clip into a Porsche. Yeah. Yeah. On my team, pickup truck. Really? Yeah, didn't work, but it was a pickup truck. Oh, all right, right. Right? There's wheels. Yeah, <laughs> everyone else came back with, you know, things, like, and we like, we have a truck, <laughs> so it's, it's being put on a flatbed right now and brought over. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, we traded up from a paper clip and you open the glove box and <gasps> there's a paper, paper clip. clip. <laughs> it's Inception. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I just keep going back to the smell. Yeah, I think the taste, this is obviously young. They, it's proofed down to 40% on the taste. Less love of that citrus quality that mm -hmm. I was looking for. But it's still that kind of um, light, fresh quality. Wow. That might be one of the best new makes yeah. I've ever tasted. Yeah, even though it's young, you do have a few flavors that are balanced well with each other. It's very light. Yeah. It's... Well, but again, it's 40%. Yeah, but it's almost a, like a Sauvignon Blanc. A Sauvignon Blanc. A Sauvignon. It's, an, it's like a really nice, late, fresh white wine, kind of almost apple notes in there. Yeah, right on. We got the Mephisto Rolling. There mm. is a way I get different aromas out of whiskey that I haven't seen you do before. Huh? After I have a drink, I put my mouth like I had just, just eaten something hot and take a deep breath in. The air rushes in and I can smell it. With monkey shoulder, I get a distinct cherry note that I don't get when smelling it normally. So he smells the glass while he's doing it? Well, no, no, no. Or he just drinks his drink After and then does I it. have a drink, right. I put my mouth like I have just eaten something hot and take mm. a breath in. I think that. I think I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Oh, I got a little um, added layer of like a vanilla cream. Yeah, I was gonna say, I got just more of vanilla. Like, I, like, well, it was more of a, definitely more of a vanilla than I find before. I wonder if it accelerates sweet notes. <laughs> we have passed out. 
<laughs> Dunk. The camera's rolling and ticking, both of us laying on the floor. It smells like burnt toast. You're having a stroke. And then what happens like later, like two hours from now, there's detectives watching this tape and they're like, this is where it happens. And Daniel's like, I just went in to get the cameras. Uh, Tristan W, where does the artificial vanilla flavor come from in certain whiskeys? Ah. I like the taste of vanilla, but something about the way vanilla comes through sometimes tastes artificial. It's not a taste I like. I agree. Yes, I you think- get, You get a lot of different presentations of vanilla. I think that comes, in my experience, that comes with higher proof grain whiskeys, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Usually proof down. But, well, well higher on. proof. I'm thinking Canadian, what are you and, thinking? And then barrel impact. I'm thinking like budget Irish, Canadian, right. uh, light whiskey in America, okay. and some Scottish budget grain blends. See, the, the artificial vanilla knot I'm thinking of is going to be like the cheaper proof down Canadians, the cheaper proof down budget yeah. American whiskey. It's not coming and, from the proofing down. It's not the proofing down? No. So it shows up in the higher proofs. It shows up in the higher proofs. It's just like alcohol getting higher in a proof down. Okay. When you proof it down, it's one of the only things left. Uh, so it stands out because it's not being hidden by the a, other things. It's a sticky note. Yeah, it's, it's a, a sticky, sticky note. note, but it shows up in the barrel aging. Okay. And in my experience, it shows yeah. up in barrel aging even more yeah. when it goes into a barrel at a higher proof. You know what also is a sticky note? That's not in whiskey. S the stevia? Stevia. Stevia? Yeah. Oh, dude, I don't really do the artificial. Metallic sugar. <gasps> So my wife did like this, um, this, this fruit bowl smoothie type mm -hmm. of deal. And it was supposed to be sugar free. Well, it's just sugar free. And she knows I don't do any stevia stevia, but she brought it to me. And she, she had this look on her face. And she <laughs> I like stevia. Like, right. uh, I was like, well, what did you do? You what did you do? Stevia. Oh, it's the, the, you can't even taste any of the smoothie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, the, it, it does remind me. I don't, I don't know if it reminds him of it. What's his name again? This is Tristan. 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 W. We'll just go Tristan. Mr. W. Whatever. Mr. W. I, it does remind me of the metallic sugar taste mm -hmm. of diet soda in a can. Yeah. You also right? get it. the aluminum yeah. mixed with fake sugar. Also, some types of your cheaper cake frostings, like your yeah. vanilla cake frosting, that artificial type metallic of Metallic sugar. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. In right. America, you'll find it a lot in light whiskey. Right. Uh, in the rest of the world, you find it in a lot of Canadian, and you find it, I think, in budget grain scotch and some budget Irish. Fair enough. I wonder why they did just a very slight, slight staving barrel impact of this, because the color is so minute. Now, they call this... It's so... Like, it's, it's probably one of the lightest whiskeys I've ever seen. And it's just yeah. a, a slight yellowing. I wonder why. They, I don't know, but they make good new make. Oh yeah, it's good. I new really make. want to know what it tastes yeah, yeah, like yeah, it's aged. Good. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, I could absolutely see this turning into something really nice. But like, usually people just do a new make. Mm -hmm. They don't do, you know, just a hot minute in a barrel just to get a little, little gleaming of color and then we bottle it. Yeah, oh, I'm that's curious very to know. rare. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drink. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal me, you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may you drink, drink with us.